Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragorn. So there's a bug right now that you can pretty much infinitely farm this said quest where you deliver the red envelopes and you can infinitely obtain as many tiger coins as you want. Every time you go and complete this quest, which you can do so super quickly, you will get a tiger coin which you can exchange 10 of them for a festive tiger companion. And we can see we can already obtain two of them right there and those festive tigers you can go and sell on the auction house. So you can make a pretty good amount of astral diamonds by basically abusing this bug. Now, don't worry, we won't be getting banned for it. And the reason is because they've gone and actually stated this on their Twitter account and made a forum blog post along with that. And you can see where Nito Chris, the community manager, states how that they are aware of this bug where we can infinitely obtain tiger coins and there's no daily cooldown there's usually a cooldown that you can only complete this quest once per day to obtain a tiger coin and for the rest sure you could obtain as many of those lunar coins as you want but you can only buy bound to account and bound to character items except of course fireworks but who cares about those and thus you couldn't abuse it to make astral diamonds well now you can and i would highly recommend at least getting as many of these tigers to have enough on each of the characters you have now and as many characters as you'd like in the future that you would play so Make sure you get at least nine of them within this event. That will sort you out. And if you want to be selling them, by all means, farm this thing infinitely. Now you can see on screen here, you can complete this thing so fast. Like within 10 seconds, you can have this quest complete and be jumping back. And if you have a party of four people, you can see with this fledgling quest, you only have four locations. I have a few party members and at the moment we're on a bit of a break and you can get this done so quickly just by going to each of those fledglings, size over there, air dams over there, and that's the quest complete. And we go and we can hand the quest back in. You can see we get our tiger coin and we pick the quest up again and then we keep going back to the four fledglings. Again, there's one just here. I give it a red envelope and you can see the other ones just over there, the other ones here and the other ones here. It's so easy to complete. You can just have one party member will go to where I was just over there and the other one can go in this circle here and here. And then you just pop back and that's it done so quick. So I just wanted to let you guys know about this bug and that they're not going to go banning you for it because again, you can have a look on the chat. They are aware of it and will be leaving the quest as it is for this year only. Next year, they're gonna change it. However, just to make sure that the item in the Zen market is not a big ripoff as a result, they've removed that lunar coin purse from the Zen market where you could essentially buy tiger coins. Now, with being able to infinitely farm them, it's lost a ton of value. So nobody should buy from the Zen market anymore. And otherwise, that's how this event is going to run. Really easy to get your tiger coins. You can obtain as many of these festive tigers as you want. Of course, with this video, of course, many people are going to go and uh, yeah, they're going to abuse this as well. So don't expect the prices to basically be anywhere. The prices of these festive tigers is only going to go down throughout the days of this event. And with that, you will basically want to be saving them up for after the event when they're no longer available. And then you should be able to sell them at a higher price. The price will slowly crawl back up, but I don't believe it will get too high, especially if people go and farm this. So just make sure you at least get enough of these tigers for your alts. And that way you won't be short a decent augment companion at least with the current meta. Who knows, a new combat change can come out and mess everything up and augments might not be good anymore. So hopefully this is somewhat insightful and helps to you guys just to make sure you guys are on top of the curve of what's actually happening with this event and why people will be farming it and how you can make the most of it as well. I did touch on this in my previous video, but hadn't quite realized there was no daily cap to those coins. So this is just again, clarification for that. So again, if I presented this well, consider leaving the video a like. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.